so we did the first law of motion and the statement of that says that a body at rest or in a state of uniform motion motion continues to do so unless an external unbalanced force acts on it correct that was the statement of the first law of motion okay now this tendency of an undisturbed object okay to to remain in its state is known as inertia okay so so this or, or the tendency of an undisturbed 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 object to remain in its state of rest or of uniform motion is called called inertia is called inertia fine now if it is at rest then it is called the inertia of rest if it is in motion it is called the inertia of motion okay so so we have inertia of inertia of rest or inertia of motion depending on motion depending on whether the object is at rest or in a state of uniform motion right correct so it is inertia of rest or inertia of motion depending on whether the body was at rest initially or was in motion correct now <clears throat> now inertia of direction is nothing it is inertia of motion only why am i saying that why is it inertia of motion because when you say uniform motion when you say that the the body is in uniform motion it means its magnitude is also the same and the direction is also the same so uniform motion contains both the both the things so there is nothing like inertia of direction that it does not want to change the direction that is included in the inertia of motion okay if if you if i say it it continues in a state of uniform motion i mean actually constant velocity and constant velocity means the magnitude will also remain the same and direction will also remain the same if the magnitude remains the same and suddenly the direction changes then also the velocity has changed and the motion will not be uniform we understand that is something that is to be understood fine okay <clears throat> fine now now this is the reason why the first law of motion is also called the law of inertia okay does the first law of motion first law of motion 
is also called is also called the the law of inertia the law of inertia okay actually if you come to uh, to the english language there the the inertia word is used as kind of something some lethargy so they'll say the system has a lot of inertia to change that means the system does not want to change and, and we are talking about maybe the political system or maybe the social system or maybe maybe an economic system okay so so it, it has come from there fine so it is an inertia so it does not want to change okay so so how do i how do i know that how do i understand that so we see certain examples say number 1 suppose you are moving in a car and the car suddenly breaks then what happens the car has the car has braked so it, it starts retarding but you your body which is sitting inside it it does it it wants to remain in the in the same same uh, motion right it wants to continue the motion so what happens that's why you you lunge ahead okay your your body goes ahead now to now now so the and and if it is uh, doing this at a very very fast rate okay suppose suppose the suppose the car is going at say 120 km per hour and someone suddenly breaks what will happen to the passengers they'll be thrown forward right and why talk about braking suppose there is an accident then what happens the whole speed gets reduced in a very short amount of time so the tendency of the passengers is to be moving at the same 120 km per hour and you will find many people they just come out of the windshield correct and it becomes fatal to prevent this we are provided with the seat belts so they get activated the moment the 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 moment there is a sudden retardation of the car they get activated and 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 they 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 otherwise when you are sitting you can move ahead go go back and it will not obstruct you restrict you but there it suddenly jams and it does not allow you to move forward and it's a great 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 safety thing so if maybe something does not come and hit the passenger then due to being thrown off will not be injured many a times people are fatally injured the injury is fatal fine someone gets thrown at that speed and bangs his head on the on the road then obviously that is the end of it fine and obviously you do not expect car passengers to be wearing helmets and sitting inside right does not happen that way so so example um a car moving with a high speed moving with with a high speed if brakes suddenly if brakes suddenly the passengers sitting inside the passengers sitting inside okay tend to continue tend to continue with the same speed tend to continue with the same speed and and are thrown forward in case of accidents in case of accidents this can be fatal this can be fatal the same thing happens when the car is at rest and it suddenly starts so what happens 
your body tends to remain at rest and the car has moved so you'll feel you have been thrown backwards right you'll find yourself hitting the seat back fine to prevent this we we have we use seat belts as a safety measure as a safety measure correct the same thing happens the same thing this is this is inertia of motion this is inertia of motion the same thing happens happens when the car suddenly starts when the car suddenly starts and we are thrown backward and we starts and and our body tends to remain at rest tends to remain at rest and we tend to get thrown backward thrown backward Also, this this is this is not fatal until and unless it is a sudden jerk with which it starts. Okay, uh, it is inertia of rest. Okay. Now, what happens? Say you are wearing a seat belt, and uh, and people have tendency to put so many things on the rear of the car, right behind your seat. there's a space right for for things to be kept mind it do not place any hard objects on that hmm nowadays i find people putting a beautifully decorated tissue case there hmm i don't know why do you require so much of tissue when you're traveling in a car or maybe if you require it put it in pouches in front of you because the moment it breaks this thing will start suppose you are fine perfectly uh, uh, perfectly secured with the belt then suddenly this object flies off to the front cds they fly off like like sudarshan chakra okay and they have a they have a tendency there have been cases where people have been killed due to cds it travels with 120 kmph and it will hit you in the neck and maybe cut a cut a vein or two right it happens or, or or it maybe if it is not killed then it damages the eyes or whatever and especially the small children they are prone to these accidents so they should be traveling with a with a baby seat fine but we never use it for example we can we can bring our hands in the front and and get some resistance but babies are straight away thrown out of the car immediately okay so and 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 their seat is very well designed it is actually turned towards the backrest and then secured to the car okay so if they are secured properly the babies have least of the chances to get injured but we somehow don't do it fine we don't do it it should be done while traveling they should be secured in the us if you if you travel without that that seat you will be fined some 50000 dollars that's about 30 33 35 lakh like rupees okay because you are putting the the life of the child at risk okay so you cannot do that now any other example of that of the inertia of of maybe rest see what happens if you shaking the 
branches of of a tree makes makes flowers and leaves fall down why because because they want it to be at rest and suddenly suddenly the the branch has moved so the weak the obviously not all the leaves fall down it's not kind of uh, leaf shedding or something uh, it's not like autumn fine so but but uh, yeah uh, not not like fall right but uh, but yes uh, all those maybe yellowish kind of leaves and many flowers fall down so that is due to inertia of rest due to inertia of rest due to inertia of rest as some flowers leaves not attached strongly because as flowers leaves want to remain at rest while the branch moves right while the branch moves correct the branch has moved now if the branch moves what has happened so so does they get detached any other example the same thing happens while horse horse riding also and and that is the trick used by the horses to throw you off of them right a horse which has gone maybe uh, very angry so that, that is what they use even the bulls when you try to ride the bull okay they do it in spain you you try to ride the bull and see how for how long you are able to be there so they do that what do they do they'll start running and suddenly they'll break they know that you'll feel that force and you're not aware that it will break so you are maybe kind of with the ride and suddenly you'll be thrown off okay and then suddenly they'll start or then suddenly they'll they'll go on their on both their feet fine so so before you realize what is happening maybe if you resist the force from one side you 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 get the force from the other and things like that so so they understand it very well uh, the newton's first law of motion right uh, also say see you must have seen many times we take a stick and and hit say mattresses mattresses very strongly with it okay hit strongly um, so so the dust particles come out why do they do that because they were there at rest and suddenly you have moved the you have moved the surface of the mattress down so it starts it starts blowing away right and we use it to maybe dust off dust off things from 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 mattresses and carpets if you are not vacuum cleaning okay so so do i erase this the first one so so the third one is hitting mattresses and carpets with a stick makes the dust remain at its place while the surface of the mattress moves surface of the